Hey all out there, good evening and welcome to yet another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at some more real-time questions and this would be the last video or the last recording of the session 2 of SAP ABAP interview questions. I hope all the videos have been useful and I would also sincerely like to thank each and every person who has been associated uh, behind making these questions. I had to work with some real time developers, some interviewers and some more people who have helped me throughout in making or in, 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 in you know publishing of these videos or in publishing of these questions. They have really helped me a lot and I hope that this help comes of some use to you when you go to your interview and yeah I and in this pursuit I would like to wish you all a very all a very all the best and probably I would also like to congratulate all the people who have been successful in this journey and who have got a job irrespective of this video's effort or irrespective of my effort or not I would really like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all those who have tried for an interview. It doesn't matter if you have been able to crack one interview or not, there is always another but still it is the trial part which matters the most and I would like to appreciate each and every one of you who has attended an interview and people who have never given up. So cheers to them. Alright, so now let us begin with the first question of the last video of session 2 SAP ABAP interview questions. They are what are the performance tips and how do you follow or what do you follow while you develop an object? So there are some important steps that we observe when we create an object or when we develop an object that is we generally don't use select or end select loop and we use select star while extracting any data. Instead of selecting, instead of using select and select loop statement, we should prefer using select star while you know pulling up any information. You must sort internal tables before using a control break statement. You must also sort internal tables before using binary search addition with read table statement. Copy and delete internal tables or the database tables outside the loop. All right, and the base internal table must be checked whether it has data. Or if, it, it, or if it does not have before using the statement for all entries. Please remember this, this is pretty important. The internal table must be sorted before you use the statement delete adjacent table. And then the table's statement is not advisable. Guys, please again, this is an important, uh, you know, you can underline this one. The table's statement is not advisable as it creates a lot of unwanted work area. What are the different performance tools that you perform before an object is released or after a development is completed? Okay. Now, whenever you are about to release an object, we generally perform some performance check on the object before it's released. And this is basically to ensure that the object is going without any errors or warnings or if there are any performance issues, we could probably sort them out. And you have different types of performance tools like extended performance check or extended program check which is SLIN or you can also go to the program you can select this check extended program check okay now this tool is used to list out the performance related errors and warnings in a particular development then you have a code inspector which is SCI or you can go to the program check code inspector which is used to perform different types of checks like performance check, security check, extended program check. Okay. You have runtime analysis which is SC30 or you can directly go to your system utilities and runtime analysis. Now this is the path guys, system utilities and runtime analysis. Okay. Uh, and this is used to know the runtime of your program or the T code which you created. It is to understand the runtime. Then you have the SQL tracer which is ST05 or ST05. And this tool is used to list out the indexes taken while extracting the data. Okay, now can you explain anything about a NACE transaction code is the question. And firstly, let's understand what NACE is. It is basically used to maintain the output types and to find the form name and print program names. If you create the output type using NACE, then it will automatically be visible in the table NAST or TNAPR. So these are the two tables in which 
uh, the output type names would be visible and and this would be automatically done now the standard program tnaper can also be used to find the form and the print program name as well okay for this you first have to run the nasd code you have to select which application you want to add into it then you click the output types on the toolbar you enter the required output like neu and you click on yes then you select the output type that is smartphone probably okay uh, and it could be a fax email or whatever then you double click on the processing routines now you would have a new window which would open up okay and in that window which is your output medium okay the, the, you would have rows and columns in the name of pdf and smart form so here you would assign your smart form and you would save it so this is how you would work on your nase transaction code what are control break statement statements or events in internal table so we have four control break statements and uh, they work with the loop of an internal table and before using these statements we must sort the internal table based on at new okay now whenever you have a new one it, it, it could be sorted out on this statement and each control break statement ends with end at so we have four control break statements first is at first it is an event which is triggered at the first record of an internal table this is used to display the header information then you have at new which is triggered at the first record of each block and it's used to display an individual heading you have at end of which is an event triggered at the last record of each and every record okay and it's used to display the subtotal and then you have at last which is triggered at the last record of an internal table and it's used to display the grand total so at end of is to, is, is to display the subtotal while at last is to display the grand total what are the performance tips that we follow okay i guess we have already covered this question probably this is repeated okay and then we have what are control break statements or events in an internal table all right explain about debugger breakpoints and watch points so we have debugger breakpoints and watch points now we'll just understand what they are so debugger is a tool which is used to check the program if there is any you know unnecessary information or if something is wrong or if you just want to see if your code is being properly executed or not you go to a debugger then you have breakpoint which can be set on a particular statement of any program all right now you first apply breakpoint and then you go into a debugger just in case if you require a breakpoint all right now we'll understand what are the four types of breakpoints we have and i would also want you to remember that we can apply up to 30 breakpoints in a program the, now the four breakpoints uh, that we, we would be talking about are session breakpoint static dynamic and an external breakpoint so session breakpoint can be set by pressing an icon which is set or delete breakpoint then you have a static breakpoint which is the above statement breakpoint or break is used to set the static breakpoint and the program must be in change mode to set the static breakpoint it, it, it should not be in the read mode it should be in the change mode okay and they these are placed in any version of a program then you have dynamic breakpoint which is used to stop the source code and if it is not possible to set the breakpoint at a particular statement it stops the program at the first statement line itself okay and uh, it is you, you also have this you know stop button in the application toolbar which can take care of that now these are placed in the active version of the program they are not placed in inactive areas and then you have the external breakpoint which is used to stop or start the cross application components like an rfc a bapi uh, etc from one system to another and then finally we have watch points which can be set in debugger tool only based on a particular field value that is a condition and we can place up to 10 watch points in a program so basically a watch point can be set inside a debugger tool okay only based on a particular field so if you want to get information of a particular field as such that is when we use a watch point debugger is for the whole and breakpoint is to stop or is, is to check your program at a specific point okay so that is why we use a breakpoint so uh, these are the questions that i have for you i hope it has been uh, a nice association with 
tech tablet looking at all the interview questions now if there are any errors which is you know highly probable uh, because yeah human error or there's, if there's any typo or if there's any grammatical error then please do let us know and if it is of any minute uh, you know level then i would ask uh, I, I would ask you know apologies from you because this was not intentional it could have been uh, because of yeah various issues or because of yeah many other facets which could have caused inconvenience to you but yes trust me that's not the motive of it so yeah now with this note i would like to complete the season 2 of sap abap interview questions and i would also like to let you know that we would be beginning with sap ui5 fury season 2 again and in, in which we will be having a lot of revamp, revamped videos and new videos which would be talking about uh, right from introduction to understanding the coding part so yes i hope you would enjoy that also because ABAP is slowly but yeah steadily fading away and SAP as we know is converging into new platforms and it would and as developers as people associated with technology it is always required and essential that we keep upgrade, upgrading ourselves and we keep taking the next step ahead uh, and you know we keep polishing ourselves with the changing generation and the changing technology now with IoT predictive analysis, you know, all these coming up on HANA and UI5 Fury being the face of it and things like Leonardo and oh my god, I don't know what all coming up. I think it would be really nice for us to have an association further and I really hope that you have enjoyed this session. Do stay subscribed to this channel Tech Tablet for many more videos yet to be uploaded and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us. Thanks a lot for watching. I wish you all a very all the best and I also would like to congratulate you in advance for the attempt that you would be giving for an interview. So all the very best. Cheers. Thank you for watching.